What is on my lip? Oh my goodness. I just did like that whole recording with this there. Jeez. Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. This is the first episode of Deal Hunter Showcase, a series that focuses on the PC and tech deals that all of you out there are finding. The main goal of the series is to give deal hunters a platform to share their best pickups and to use that as motivation for those that are still on the hunt, whether they be newcomers to the PC space or longtime deal hunters like myself and many others uh, that are on the continual pursuit of getting the most out of our money. So let's get right into the deals. So first up we have It's Nate from Charlotte, North Carolina who bought a used Corsair K70 mechanical keyboard on LetGo for only $15. The only issue with this keyboard was that it had a missing keycap, but that can easily be replaced so he didn't see it as a problem at all. He sent in all the proof from the ad in the conversation and it seemed like a typical transaction. After printing it up, Nate went ahead and cleaned it up and replaced the key that was missing and this is what it looks like now. It looks pretty spotless, so good job Nate. Remember, if you're buying any peripheral secondhand like keyboards or mice, be sure to wipe them down really well. Uh, you don't know what people have done with their stuff and where their hands have been. Oh. 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 For $15, I think that's a steal. The K70 is one of Corsair's upper tier keyboards, and if I recall correctly, the only one above it is their K95. This one seems to be an older model of the K70, so there's no RGB and it doesn't have the rapid fire uh, MX speed switches, but I still think it's a great deal nonetheless for genuine cherry switches, uh, as well as the build quality of a big recognizable brand. Next up we have IG from Georgia with a full PC pickup from Reddit Hardware Swap. The specs are shown here on the post, but the main ones of interest are the FX8350 which is paired with an ASRock 990FX killer and is cooled by a Corsair HADI uh, all-in-one liquid cooler. It also has 24GB of DDR3 RAM, a GTX 770, and a 120GB SSD. So this makes for a pretty good 1080p gaming system and it does include some bells and whistles like the SSD and the all-in-one cooler. Uh, he also got it for only $260 and the seller was local to him so he didn't have to pay for shipping which saved him a bunch of money because uh, shipping a full build like that would have tacked on a substantial amount compared to the system itself. Uh, and he said he bought this for a friend to introduce him to PC gaming. So a big shout out to you for doing that, IG. Uh, just by looking at the parts alone, I'd estimate that this PC is worth anywhere between $350 to $400. Uh, looking at that DDR3, uh, 24 gigabytes is worth at least $100. Uh, so awesome job on that find. Over in Virginia, we have a submission from Charles. Hey guys, it's Jack Always. I'm Charles. He's a YouTuber that makes PC related content, a lot of which has to do with budget and price to performance. So definitely check him out uh, if you enjoy my content. It's in the same boat. He picked up an open box Samsung S34E790C, which to me is a bunch of random letters and probably to you too. It's a 34 inch curved 1440p ultra wide monitor, and he got this from Micro Center. This monitor is a few years old, but on release it was around $1,000. Even now in 2018, 1440p ultra wides are in the ballpark of $600 to $700. Charles picked this one up for only $156 after tax. Look at the savings that is shown on the receipt. That is a huge discount. Charles was expecting some issues with it because it was so cheap and open box, uh, but it turned out the only things wrong with it were a few minor scratches on the stand. I also want to point out that this is what an exemplary submission looks like for the Deal Hunter Showcase. In his email, uh, Charles provided a good description of the whole situation and his pickup, indisputable proof that it was real, you know, with the receipts and the tag on the box, and he had really good high quality pictures to show off the product, and it was just a good deal overall. So thank you for submitting that, Charles, uh, and I hope you're enjoying that monitor. Next is an almost complete PC from Jeff S. in Enid, Oklahoma. He was at a local thrift store looking for cases since he likes to buy them to mod, and he came across a Cooler Master Elite 430 case that caught his attention. It was being sold for $25, which is kind of expensive for that case used by itself, but he decided to take a look inside, and that's where he found a small treasure trove of parts. The tower was equipped with the Corsair AX750 power supply that was both modular and 80 plus gold rated. It had 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz Corsair Vengeance RAM, an i5-3330, and an Intel Extreme Z77 motherboard. The motherboard alone is worth in the upwards of $150 used on eBay, so along with getting that on top of everything else in the bundle, this turned out to be an amazing deal. The only thing this system is missing are the hard drives and graphics card, but still, this is an awesome foundation for a system only at $25, so add in another like $200 or so and you have a really strong gaming system. Uh, but thank you for sharing that with us, Jeff. Alex S. from Albany, Georgia was brave enough to show his face on the showcase, and he pieced his system together mostly using eBay. 
He got an Optiplex 7010 on there for $180 after shipping, which was supposed to come with an i5-3470, 8GB of RAM, and a 128GB SSD. It came with the right CPU, but only 4GB of RAM and a 240GB 7200RPM mechanical drive. It was a big difference compared to what he was expecting, so he emailed the seller back and explained what happened, and the person gave him a full refund and let him keep the system. So this really worked out well in Alex's favor. He got a pretty good foundation for his build, basically for free. It's highly likely that the person was a power seller and was bringing in enough profits that it wasn't worth the hassle to have Alex ship the PC back and then dealing with the negative or neutral feedback uh, since it was his error. I've actually had this happen to me numerous times on eBay. You know, if there was a problem with the item that I was shipped, uh, more often than not, they would let me keep it and give me a full refund. This was a bit surprising though because this was a higher ticket item. You know, when it happens to me, it's usually for like a lower pricing that was $10 or less and comes from China. Uh, so he definitely lucked out here. He ended up buying a GTX 980 to pair with the system and finish it off with some more RAM and an SSD, uh, which is what you see here, all for under $500. So solid system and setup, Alex, and thank you for submitting to the showcase. Next is a submission from Trevor T of Long Beach, California. And shout out to Long Beach, by the way. I was born and raised nearby, uh, around Westminster area in Santa Ana. So it's awesome to see a viewer from there. But Trevor found an $80 combo deal on offer up for an i7-930 and an Asus Rampage 3 Extreme motherboard. A Hyper 212 Evo was not shown in the ad, but it was thrown into the combo as well. And what's awesome about this deal is the motherboard. The CPU and cooler are actually just extras since they can both be found for around 25 bucks. But the motherboard, however, is the critical piece in this pickup. It's it's an X58 motherboard, so it's really valuable, and it still goes for around $200 on average on eBay, even though it's used, because these boards aren't manufactured anymore, and the processors you can pair and overclock with them still perform really well despite being a decade old. I'm not sure why the person sold it to you for so cheap, he must not have known what it was worth, uh, because I feel like that's like an enthusiast type item, so you might have just lucked out there. So very nice find, Trevor. Next up we have another Alex, but this one is from Seattle, Washington, so really close by to where I am, probably like 20 minutes down the freeway. But he was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and he came across an Asus PG27AQ monitor for $350. Initially the ad asked for $300, but the seller raised the price to $350 because he underlisted it uh, and was getting multiple offers and then he realized he lowballed himself. Uh, but the guy was selling it because he was using it to only play Rocket League and he wasn't putting it to good use. The guy wanted to move it as quickly as possible so Alex acted fast and and he was able to buy it before everyone else. Now, this is a 4K 27 inch monitor, but the thing that really makes this an awesome deal is that it has G-Sync, the premium features that drives the price of this monitor in the upwards of $800 to $900 from the retailers. So nice find there, Alex. You got a huge discount. Hope you're enjoying the monitor. The first international viewer on the Deal Hunter Showcase goes to Marvin M from Germany and he sent in this awesome deal. He scored a bunch of 4GB sticks of Samsung DDR4 laptop RAM for €9.90 each, which works out to be about $12.30 US currency. Now it was from an online store called Mind Factory, and he was looking in their discounted section where they had inventory that was marked down because it wasn't selling at normal prices, and that's where he got this awesome deal. Even though this is laptop memory and I don't hear nearly as many people complain about the price increase as I hear people complain about the desktop DDR4 memory price increases. Uh, this is still a really good find because 8GB kits are still going for well over $80 on Newegg and Marvin was able to get them for less than $30 per 8GB set after taxes and shipping. My question to you though Marvin is do you even need any of this RAM or are you just going to flip off them for profit? Either way I'm not going to judge you and I hope nobody else does. Uh, awesome find and thank you for submitting to the showcase. Next we have a graphics card pickup from Lou D of Atlanta, Georgia. He was able to pick up a Zotac GTX 960 4GB variant on Facebook Marketplace for only $50. Now he already had a GTX 1070 originally, but due to the price increases, he was able to sell it for more than double what he originally paid. So he got this 960 as a temporary replacement until the price is normalized again. Until the price is normalized again. Price is normalized again. <laughs> <laughs> You can make quite a bit of profit on high-end cards that you bought before the whole cryptocurrency situation. Uh, and you know, if you don't mind selling for something that's a bit cheaper for some time. Now this deal in particular at that price for me is 100% buy. You know, a year from now I can see this 960 still being valued at $50 if not a little bit more. So it's pretty much a risk-free substitution in my opinion. So nice find Lou, like everyone else, I hope the market normalizes, but we'll see what happens. And that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I received a lot of submissions, so there were plenty that didn't make it into this episode. And that's because I didn't want to draw this on too long. And I always want to have a reserve of submissions uh, for future episodes so I don't run out. So if you did send me something and you didn't see it in this video, uh, 
don't worry, I still have it on hand and it may show up in a later episode. But with that said though, I'm always taking submissions. So if you did buy something recently that you think is showcase worthy, please submit it. Uh, directions to do so will be in the description below. I have a video as well that kind of goes over the details and examples, but hopefully you kind of get the gist of it based on this video. Um, but other than that, you know, let me know down in the comments of the deals showcased in this episode, which one would you have liked for yourself? And also let me know uh, what your thought on the first episode was, you know, how did it go? I'm actually very nervous to hear your opinions because this was completely new to me as you know as much as it's new to you uh so you know definitely give me your feedback i'll definitely take it in uh into consideration but that's gonna wrap it up for this video you know thank you as always for watching leave a like if you liked it uh sub if you're new to the channel and hit the little bell notification uh what the heck is this hit the bell notification if you want to see the videos as soon as they release uh and with that i wish you all the best of luck on your deal hunting and i will see you in the comments as well as in the next video Bye.